Good morning, Dr. Babo here, greeting you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, how's your Christian life inside out? We're going to find out today. Let's pray. Yes, Lord, we want to be same. We want to be matching what's inside with our outside. We'll walk the talk of the Christian life. Teach us how to live that today, and we admit our weakness. We cannot do it on our own. So Holy Spirit, God, come and anoint us that we may live this day victoriously, have a revival today. Thank you, Lord, in advance for what you do through us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Walking the talk of Christian life or Christian life's inside out, chapter 29. I would read from Matthew 3, 13 through 15. And let's meditate as I read three times. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to, the, to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you are coming to me. But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now. But thus is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness that he allowed him. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. This is the word of the Lord. Wow. You know the story of how Jesus, the Son of God, comes to John the Baptist, one to be baptized by him, and establishing a tradition. And here, it's interesting how the Korean uh, Bible translates the whole baptism into sprinkle. Uh, it's like saying that John the sprinkler. <laughs> Actually, literally in Korean words, it's John the Sprinkler. Sere uh, Yohan. Silly, really. Because the word baptism is not English, it's Greek. Baptismal. The word baptismal means the ship has sunk. Or the person who dying the fabric, immerse. It means immersion. So baptism is mean sprinkle, it means immersion. But for because of the Presbyterian denomination is very strong. Uh, and when they were taught to do sprinkle instead of baptism, they changed the Bible to sprinkle. So they had John the sprinkler, just funny fact. Uh, well, the inside out of Christian life is referring to his outward practice and content. So Pastor Vaughn is, is saying, Constantly, again, uh, just like me, philosophical foundation, my philosophical foundation, he's existentialist. He always covered both then. Don't insist on either or. Is it this or is it that? Do we need church or we don't need church? Answer to wrong question is irrelevant. You know, you cannot ask, do you need a church or not? Well, yes and no. Yes, we need church, but we don't need a church that is dead. But we need church. And, and, and the reason, the example you use is, well, there's a little bean. Do you need the skin of bean or not? Well, I guess the content is important. Bean, we throw them out. You know, Koreans, we put it in the water, let it all soak up, and then take away. Right? But for bean to grow, the shell or the skin 
is necessary. So he's saying that tradition is like that. Church even is like that. Because in the 70s, uh, Japan, or had, uh, theologian Uchimura Ganjo, who was anti-church establishment, he was anti-church, building anti-church institution, and he believed in just church, so say, just like Bible, like he's saying that it's community of believers, not the building, not the institution. So he had his own theological. Right? There's nothing wrong with that. We need both end. So we we need a healthy balance of uh, someone who's crying wolf about, hey, you know, the institution is is stupid. We don't need to spend hundreds of millions of dollars building these cathedrals. At the same time, we need an institution that is healthy. So what uh, Uchimura Ganja was against was a dead institution. What Jesus is trying to do is bring both. Yeah, what's the, what's the practice tradition of baptism? This is important, it's needed. And so when Jesus comes to John, John says, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? I need to be baptized by you, you are sinless. You, you're son of God, he says, no, make it so so that we could establish this tradition of baptism. So I baptize people. First person that I baptized uh, when I got ordained you know, was my mom. She, of course, she was sprinkled many times as a child, as growing up, trying to join the Presbyterian Church, she was sprinkled, 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 probably three times. I said, mom, uh, I am now an ordained pastor and I'm doing my first baptism. And you know, I did a discipleship training with her, uh, Master Life, it's a one-year program. And she said, if that's the case, I want to be the first one to be baptized by you, son. So I remember April, 1991, baptismal immersion, not sprinkle. I'm not Bob the sprinkler, I'm the Bob the immersion. The biblical baptism, baptizer. And it's just very moving. You know, baptism is a very moving thing because it's, it symbolizes something. It's like a wedding ring. And when you're married, you have a symbol that says, says, I am married to her, to him, right? But someone says, oh, what's the point of marriage ring? When you have a lousy marriage, you know, you cheat on your wife, cheat on your husband, you know, you hate each other, you know, oh, we don't need this. We just need the content. Really? No, it's both then. It's never either or. See, like this flower, I mean, Cambodians, they love this box. Even if you give $1 gift, they would literally spend $1.50 on a box. For dollar gift. To them, box is very important. And it's their culture, and I respect that. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. Because it needs both, right? I just don't spend ten thousand dollar a box for a five dollar gift, then it'll be oxymoron. It has to match. Right? And so a lot of times your spiritual life, you, you have a box showing showing to the world like you act like a super spiritual saint, but inside is corrupted and <laughs> there's no, no discipline, you know, your life is a mess, right? So it's like a young man that uh, started coming on scene in UCLA and becoming global and, and then he started self-promoting. Like, hmm, that's interesting. How young guys, and he knows how to work the media, and then goes to Korea and make, you know, produce movies. And I mean, he's like, who? It's just not not matching who he is and what he's portraying him to be to the world. Uh, and this this Chinese brother, just I'm like, hmm, you know, we need to be very careful about that. And I just kind of told uh, one of my leader who was wanted to work with him. I said, no, 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 a step a step back. You know, because he he doesn't really doesn't seem to have content in the, the box that he's showing, that he's he, uh, trying to portray. Well, of course, eventually, years later, found out he was an alcoholic, did all kinds of sexual problem, you know, and, and it's just a mess. And when someone like that surfaces and gets found out, then of course, Christian communities 
rebuked. People say, ah, oh, you know, pastors like that, you know, Christian leaders like that. It's a problem. It's a problem. So the, the formality and content and box really we need to be matching. So he writes, the contents of the gospel are carrying the tradition of church and thus preserved and grow, right? So his refusal, of course, is accept, understandable. He doesn't, Jesus didn't have to repent, but he's now practicing this thing for us. He was approving an institutional practice. That's what he's doing. Jesus was approving institutional practice. Yes, our Lord indeed detested outward and meaningless religion, formalism, and acts. He sharply rebuked the hypocritical Pharisees and his te their teachings on the parable of the vineyard owner clearly states a disapproval. He did not look at how much time on work, even if the workers work less, he paid them the same amount, look at quality over quantity, he said. Well, that's good, and, 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 I, and I, I think rightfully so. And then he said, even our Lord was baptized, and therefore we too must keep this outward form and be baptized. And all other sacraments established in the world, we must keep and faithfully live by. We must obey the institutional sacraments. But then he says, this is where reform is, in, 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 is needed. The reason why Protestant too, reformed Catholicism is because stains were being put on the works of salvation. Does the sacrament portray any aspect of this salvation, gospel, any work of salvation? Does it really portray that? Of course, you know, baptism, death, and resurrection. So when I baptize people, I ask, do you believe that this symbolizes death and you're dying with Jesus and coming out of the water it means that you'll be resurrected with him? And then walking out of the water, you walk on renewed life, rest of your life, following becoming his disciple. Would you do you agree to that? If he says no, then walk out. I don't want to baptize you. The sacrament is nothing to you. So the content box and the content has to match. And then he argues that Catholic Church was deviating from that. So he, the Protestant, came out. So, so does Pastor Bang preach that Catholics are devils and demons and we should never work with them and no see that's that's the fundamental error that people make you know it's like well there are things that we need to learn from catholic system isn't there a christian in the catholic system of course there are followers of christ in catholic system who's still trying to reform catholic system right so i mean it's almost like saying that oh if uh, martin luther went as a priest uh, as a catholic priest he tried to reform because he realized that it is Jesus. It is Jesus. We need to encounter Jesus at a personal level by faith, not by this tradition. He's talking about that because the Catholic system went too much box. No life. It just was box, box, box. He said, now let's go back to content. What does this box represent? We need Jesus. We need personal relationship with Jesus, right? And faith. It is faith. We're justified by faith, not by tradition. I mean, so, okay. Right at that moment, he was struck by light. He was a part of the Catholic system. So did he go to hell because he was Catholic? Of course not. Right? So, I mean, I know a lot of people within Catholic system. Well, my ex-roommate in my Berkeley years was a, is a Catholic monk. He is an evangelical Christian like you wouldn't believe. And yet he's in the system. He says that the greatest mistake that Martin Luther made is that he got out of the system. He could have turned the whole thing into reform into a uh, Christian. So the Catholic could have been, become just one, no Catholic, no Protestant, but just one, church. So Pastor Baum also works with WCC, World Council of Churches, and, and it's not because he's corrupted and he lost it because he's too old and, you know, and he's deceived. No, his theology and his understanding of faith was much, much broader than very narrow-minded people though, of today. I will talk about Korean community. So he writes, and thus let us correctly live the Christian life inside out. We must purify, keep clean, value, guard the precious bow, bow, bowls, bowls, bowls that holds the living contents of the work of atonement. Hey, 
box is important. Keep it clean. Make it presentable because you are gift. You are, in a way, the world looks at you like a gift to them. You know, God is giving. You know, if you want to find out what Christianity is, if you want to find out what following me is, here, you know, I'm, I'm giving you something. This, you know, and it, it's so dirty and uh, filthy. And who wants to take a look inside? Although a lot of the stuff's in here, right? So let's live this day that we can truly become a present to some people who do not know Jesus and let our box match our content. People will find Jesus, the work of atonement, work of salvation through who we are, what we say, and how we live. Amen? Let's have this Christian life that's inside out and is pure, acceptable. Father, thank you, Father, for this message today. They will live for you today and have victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord bless you, brothers and sisters. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.